Hey, this is Nevin again with season six already of On The Disc and Cooking Show. And this whole season is brought to you by DukeCityLocal.com. Don't go away. Welcome back again, Nevin here on the Disket. This week we're gonna blow your mind. We got something totally special. Now last week, all you guys saw us at the Fiery Food Show. This weekend is daylight savings time. So that's gonna give us much more cooking time for on the Disket. Now this week, we're gonna do something totally cool. We've got pomegranate barbecue sliders, a whiskey onion. Phil is back. Phil, thanks for coming back. Great, great to be back, Nevin. Good to so, see you. Phil's gonna feature some of his uh, sauces. What are you gonna use today? Today we're gonna use pomegranate. We're gonna nice. do a pomegranate uh, beef sandwich uh, slider. Pomegranate yeah. beef slider on yeah, the with some whiskey onions. Whiskey onions. <laughs> You're gonna All love right. it. So you've got everything. Uh, what do you got here? You got okay. The onions I got here? everything prepped here. What we have? We got some sliced onions, some uh, flour that's already been seasoned. We have salt, pepper, garlic powder in there, a little bit of cayenne pepper, and you Ooh, can always add cayenne. some extra ingredients if you like. <laughs> Right on. So we got, what do you got, about two cups of oil on the disc? Yeah, we have about one? two cups of oil. We're going to kind of deep fry these and we'll set them aside make sure we'll season them real quick. A little salt on there so okay. it gets on there. And we're ready to get started. Okay, up. Well, let's do this thing. Okay. Some onions. So Ooh. you you just, now well, are the onions are real moist, damp? Did you soak them anything? Or? No, just, they're just fresh cut onions. You just dust them in some, in some flour there. Nice. They'll cook, <laughs> they'll cook up for about, you know, just a couple minutes. It goes pretty quick then, huh? Oh, yeah, they go real quick. When did you come up with this recipe? Last night. <laughs> <laughs> no. I was at it. Figured it was during the fiery food show last weekend. <laughs> no. So that goes real, real quick. Oh, they go really fast. And how many onions did you use on this? I used, this is probably about two large yellow onions in okay. this. And you cut them up pretty thin? That just cut them up chilly. nice and thin, that way they cook kind of cook quick. Fast. Okay. Yeah. Sounds good. Just let them sit there for a minute, cook up. Yeah, and how long do they usually take to cook? Probably about two minutes, three minutes. Oh, that's, that's quick. They're, Everything's they're quick. They're really fast, yeah. <laughs> I'll just get some more ready here. Cool. Well, while you're getting all this stuff ready and uh, breading that, putting this in here, we're going to take a second and we're going to go ahead and get into this week's Spotlight Disket. <laughs> This week's Spotlight Disket, we're actually going to showcase Phil Gourmet Sauce's actual disket design. Now we talk about customization, Phil ordered his with all of his logos, flames, stuff like that, and he uses it for all the different cooking shows he's doing, uh, fire food shows, stuff that he goes all over the country promoting his products. So when we talk about spotlighting any particular disket and what the customization could be, we can build it with your company logo, whatever design you want. So you can see this and many other hundred different disket designs by going to our pattern section on our website. So now we just got back out of talking about this week's Spotlight Disket. We're back to cooking. Phil, you already pulled your onions off? Okay, well, what we did, we pulled the onions off. They're all seasoned up. Uh, we might have some left for the sliders, maybe. <laughs> okay. <laughs> but I'll um, stop eating them all? Yeah. Um, okay, good. what we did, we, we dumped the oil out of there. We wiped it down. We didn't clean it. We, we just wiped it out of there because we, we still have a little bit of flavor left in that disket. Right. So we want to kind of keep that in the meat. So what we're going to do next is we're just going to saute. You know, I got a little bit of fresh uh, onions and garlic here. Just saute mm. that real quick. Oh, it smells so good. <laughs> that going. That's about all it needs. It's really quick. Okay, then get the beef. What I did, I didn't use any ground beef. I used uh, actually just some ground chuck, carving from a chuck. Mm -hmm. Slice it nice and thin. And that's what we're going to use. Oh, that's going to cook quick. Oh, yeah, it is. That's real thin. That's good. And you put some onions and garlic before? Onions and garlic, yeah. Okay, yeah. what do you got now? Just a little salt and pepper. Pepper. <laughs> and there we go. You know, put this, put this cook up a little bit. So that's probably going to take about, what, maybe three, four minutes to cook up because yeah. it's sliced so thin? Yeah, it's going to go really quick. Okay, so while you're cooking this, I'm going to jump into the Ask Levin Anything section of this episode. Well, this week's Ask Levin Anything question is, how long does a propane tank last? Well, a standard propane tank, typical for grills, is a uh, five-gallon, 20-pound tank. Now, even though the burner puts out so many BTUs, it's actually very efficient. We've actually run the burner on full high heat for 20 straight hours. Now, we cook on our disket all the time. I wonder why, but uh, we'll, we'll typically run through a tank about every three to four weeks, and that's using it pretty much every single day. So we've got customers that even though you use, how long, how long does yours last? 
It'll last me probably about a quarter of the summer, and that's about it. Quarter of the summer, you need to cook more. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so to answer that question, yeah, even though you're putting out so many B thousands of BTUs, that tank's still gonna last you quite a long time. So keep them questions coming. We're back here, Phil, Phil's Gourmet Sauces. We're featuring the uh, pomegranate, you said? Pomegranate barbecue sauce, yeah. Pomegranate girl. That's just uh, the sauce I'm featuring here. I'll also have my honey apple, my honey apple hot, and uh, my traditional Man, good so, stuff. Oh, good stuff. <laughs> also, this uh, this fiery fucho, I hope to have a chipotle barbecue sauce coming out. So oh, wow. look for that, yeah. <laughs> Always up to something here. Yeah. <laughs> Every year something going on. Now, uh, we're going to be doing something here with featuring uh, Fields Gourmet Sauces. So what we're going to do is we're going to be giving away some bottles of some of this awesome stuff. So I want you to do, to qualify for part of this drawing, take this video and post it on your Facebook page, share it, or don't do Facebook yet. Go ahead and just send an email in. So make sure you put Phil's Gourmet Sauce in there. We'll put your name in the hat, and we'll see who's going to win some of this awesome stuff. Now, a lot of you guys are from all over the country. Some of you guys in Australia. Some of you guys are in Europe. Uh, go ahead and get that entry in, too. You're part of that same drawing. So back to this here. You got, uh, you got your, your, your okay. sliced up beef? You yeah, the sliced up beef is just about ready here. What I'm going to do is start putting some of these rolls out here. Just get a little toast on them. We'll just stick them here right on the Right on side. the outside of the edge of the disc. And yeah. how long is this going to take? Oh, th this will just take a few minutes. We'll get them a little toasty here. Nice. While this meat is finishing cooking, then we'll put that sauce in there. Nice. The pomegranate. The Phil's pom Gourmet Sauces pomegranate barbecue sauce. That's a mouthful. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so sure you, got... you're going to handle it now. Man. Okay, here we go. Now, what's um, everybody else going to eat? I don't know. <laughs> okay. Wow. Pomegranate barbecue sliders on the disket. And you're going to mix all that up, let it yeah, cook for gonna, a couple? We're going to let it cook for just a minute. Well, yeah. while that's going on, let's watch this and let's show you this week's featured business. Hi there, I'm Phil Apodaca with Phil's Gourmet Sauces, and I use a lot of local ingredients here, you know, the chilies, the honeys, uh, and just some other local ingredients that I really, really like here. Um, I have a traditional, a pomegranate, a honey apple, and a honey apple hot that I have currently in production and soon I'll have the uh, chipotle barbecue sauce. And let me tell you a few things that, that I like my sauce on. The traditional, I like it on brisket. The honey apple is, is excellent on uh, spare ribs, your pork spare ribs and uh, your pomegranate, any of your pork products, whether it's chops uh, or spare ribs, e even wings. Th those are some of my favorite recipes where I have or that I like to put my sauce on. Right now I'm locally available in uh, Keller's, uh, Triangle Grocery Store and then uh, some Tony's Food Markets up in Colorado. There's four stores up there. Hopefully here pretty soon I'll be in uh, Whole Foods. I'm just waiting to get the high fructose corn syrup out and as soon as I do that I'll be in the local Whole Foods stores. So uh, keep an eye out for Phil's Gourmet Sauces at your local grocery stores. Thank you. So now you got a chance to see this week's feature business on the Disket Cooking Show. Phil's got his pomegranate barbecue sliders or whiskey onions. He's got the buns all toasted around the outside of the yeah. disc. Looks like he's, uh, he's about getting ready for this. Uh, yeah. As we wrap this thing up here, I know it's going to take just a minute here. I want to just say thank you to our main sponsor here. Uh, the entire season six is brought to you by Duke City Local. So you want to find something out, what's happening around town, check them out at DukeCityLocal.com. Now. Okay, now we're ready. <laughs> just these up. These, these rolls have toasted up. Man, yeah, look pretty at those. good. We're going to put some of these uh, whiskey onions on here. Don't be shy now. Oh. You know, I like my onions. <laughs> there we go. Nice. I get one, you get one. I'll I get two, one. but you, you get two. Ahead. Man. All right. Again, I got to say it again. This is uh, Phil's Gourmet Sauces, and we're making pomegranate barbecue sliders or whiskey onion on the disket. Cook that on your grill. Cooking outdoors has never been better. Mmm. Mm. Mm. How about that? Mmm. Mmm. Biscuits. <laughs>